One of the hatchlings is pipped. That means it's time to cut the eggs. Let's find out. Did I finally, finally hit a visual pied in a clutch of eggs that I produced myself? Let's check it out. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Thanks for being here today. This is Adam at Proper Royals. If we've not met before, this channel is all about my family's journey from ball python hobbyist to ball python business and we document everything right here. Some backstory. This is my second year of ball python breeding. Last year I had only two clutches and one of those clutches was a het pied female to a het pied male. When the eggs came along, all the eggs were healthy, all the babies were healthy. However, there were zero pides. I got skunked, 0 for 7. That, of course, begs the question of whether both parents were indeed het pied or did I just get crushed by the odds. That's a whole different video. That mom I paired again and we'll see what she produces later this year. However, this clutch is from a different mom. She's a leopard het pied. It's a bit of a who's your daddy clutch. I'll explain it in the video today once we get to cutting. There were six healthy eggs and it's really kind of early, but on day 53, one of them pipped and I went on the rule that if one pips, the rest are ready to cut and we did cut it. In retrospect now, I would advise still waiting to day 55, even if one pips. What's another day or two gonna be that you don't cut? I'm kind of guilty of being impatient. Hey, before we get too far into today's episode, I gotta tell you about Will and Audra at Flawless Exotic Creations in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Go check them out on Instagram. They're growing their brand. Well, they've been breeding crested geckos for over five years and had so much success they quit their jobs, they've retired from their professional careers on the success of breeding crested geckos. And on the heels of that, they've jumped into the ball python game. As crested gecko breeders, they've got 23,000 followers on Instagram at Flawless Crested Geckos. And you might have seen them at the NARBC shows in Tinley before. But their ball python investments are going great guns. Just this year, they've invested over $100,000 in their ball python breeding operation. Their page on Instagram is fantastic, and they're really, really great people. They built an 800 square foot facility on their property. They've dubbed the vault, and that's where they keep all their crested geckos, and they keep their ball python collection. Already, they've invested in ball python projects like Monsoon, Puzzle, Clown, Pied, and Tristripe. They're also working with heavy hitting codoms like the Stranger, of course. Go check out Flawless Exotic Creations on Instagram. All their links are down below. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for them. It's been a pleasure working with them and I can't wait to get to meet them in person. Go check out Will and Audra at Flawless Exotic Creations. We filmed this video on the fly. I didn't set up many lights. Uh, it was just an exciting evening for my wife Kelly and my son Charlie and I and we cut the eggs and we recorded everything. So I wanna share it with you right now. And we even had a surprise visit from Jeremy Bod crashing the party in the middle of the cutting. Make sure you check it out and see this happy time with our family as we cut this clutch and see if we can hit our first ever visual pies that we have hatched. So this clutch, I can't believe it. Uh, this should be our first visual pieds that we've ever hatched. So it's pretty exciting. I know everybody says pied, schmied, not this guy, I love pieds. I did a het to het pairing last year, got seven good eggs, none of them were pied. I, like to this day, I still question whether they're both pied or not. So that's another cutting this season. We'll, we'll, we'll prove that moms find out if she's pied or not this year. But this is a different female. This is a first time female. She is a leopard het pied. I got a little anxious early in the breeding season and I actually set up a breeding partnership with my friends Galactic Reptiles here in Jacksonville and I borrowed their banana pied male. So I paired this female to the banana pied male and then it came time to give the banana pied back 
and get my stud back. We traded studs and she still hadn't ovulated and it was like November or something. I mean, it was really, really early. So then I paired her to one of my boys, a young guy, and she yellow belly het pied. And she yellow belly pies would be killer. I'd love to see that in here. We also paired her to an orange dream het pied because that and she yellow belly pied was such a young dude. I you know I wasn't sure if he was quite mature or ready or not yet. So the orange dream het pied is definitely a proven breeder, and he's proven het pied by Dr. Seidel's DNA testing. And then really late in the in the middle of the not late like. December, January breeding season, I actually bought a visual pied het albino. And I said, well, he's getting into the mix too. We're gonna find out. This clutch was laid on uh, June 11th after 35 days after shed. Interesting, the first pip tonight we found on day 53. Seems really early to me. I usually cut on day 58 and I usually see pips on like 56, 57. So we're gonna find out what's going on in here. I have not opened the box yet. We're gonna open it together right here. Just check it out. I've only seen that one is pip. Okay, let's see what's inside here. All right. So we got one dude poking out. All six of the eggs look good. A little bit dimpled, but it's good. The box smells clean. <laughs> All right, well, let's cut these things. See what's up. No, oh, no, they're good. They're plenty damp as well. Okay, little dude. Since you're so eager, let's go on back in. Good boy. What does the rest of you look like? I don't believe that that is a pied. I do believe it's a leopard though. Maybe we could possibly get leopard ODs too. That's a really busy pattern. I wonder if that's a leopard orange dream. Really busy dark pattern. It's kind of cool. All right, I'll let them be. Let's see, Charlie, which one you want? Which one you want me to pick out? Mm -hmm. One here. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Leopard OD, no pied. All right, Kelly, which one do you want? Like this one? No. Okay. Dad, if we get a pied, you have to do that jump like you did when you sold the thousand dollar snake. <laughs> we will see. This might be the one. I see a really light belly. No. Could just be a normal. It might be an it might be an inchy. I don't know. I think it's a normal. Kinda looks like an orange tree. We'll have to see. I don't know. Maybe inchy. are a little early. I'm going on the uh, if one pips, the others are ready to go. Ooh, but this looks a little, little, little early for me.
Yes! Yes! I don't know what it is, but that's a pod. <laughs> Look how white it is. I don't even see any pattern on it. I'm not going to push it. There's a really thick vein right there. <laughs> Do you jump? Yeah, a little pod, right? Oh, there's a little pattern on it right there. Okay. Yes. All right, so she's proven pet pied. All right, so those others are at, those others are at least 66% hep pied, and depending on depending on the sire, maybe 100%. We'll look for tracks and stuff. Ah, oh, yes, another pied. Super fantastic. Man. Oh, if Johnny's the father of these, these will be Orange Dream. If he's, if he's the father of all of them. Oh, it's the phone. Really bad. Oh, is it? <laughs> Show it to the camera. Wrong time, Jeremy. <laughs> Just let it be. I'll call him back. Yes! It's two eggs. Can you touch the red one? There you go. Thank you. So sweet. say not a pied and I'm just gonna let this one be it looks it's really really full of, of uh, egg white hey two out of six on what looks like it's gonna be a head to head batch although we don't know we might have a, a you know a split clutch but if the orange dream that I saw in those eggs is accurate, that would be a het orange dream male to a het leopard female. Het pied orange dream, het pied leopard. Two out of six pieds, I'll take them. That's the first pieds I've ever hatched and we've got another clutch this year that could be pieds as well. How cool is this? We'll see what happens when these, when these crawl out. Oh, what a cool day, right? I'm so happy I was able to share that time with you all. It was such a happy moment to finally get the validation of producing visual pides. It's something that we've worked for and worked towards for a long time. Pides are exciting to us. I mean, it's just a neat, such a neat gene. It's so eye-catching. It's our first time. We did it. I'm so happy. I did it. Uh, a little update. It's a couple days later that I'm filming this outro segment right now. All the eggs and all the hatchlings did stay healthy. Cutting that early didn't seem to be detrimental, but again, I, I still would recommend at least 55. I usually cut on 50. And they've started crawling out of the eggs. So right now, uh, those first two that I thought were Orange Dream Leopard, I, I'm less convinced that they're Orange Dream, but I need to see them them shed. They're certainly leopards. And then uh, one of the pieds crawled out, and it's a fairly low pattern, pretty high white pied. Looks clean and beautiful. I got to do some research on identifying if I see yellow belly, if I see enchi. I don't think it's enchi because of how high white it is. So I don't know about that possible sire. I don't think that the banana sired it, both from the timing of the pairing being super, super early in the season and there being no banana. And that means that it also could possibly be the visual pied that was head albino. I got to try and whittle down what these babies are. When I do make them available, I'll list them at the least possible thing. So maybe somebody will get a deal. Maybe if I have to list it 66% hep pied and possible albino, the odds could be actually a little bit higher than just 
just those. They're doing great. I can't wait to show them off to you when they've all come out of the eggs and when they've all shed. Keep it right here on the Proper Royals channel. I'll show you everything that we've got going on. I'll show you all the eggs that hatch. I'll show you all the hatchlings and I'll show you what goes on with this clutch in the future. And we'll set out to figure out what those pods are. Until next time, see ya.